Good morning on day 18 on the Appalachian Trail. What a beautiful day. Is it really? It's overcast. It rained all night last night and nobody used the shelter. Unbelievable. Today we have a 13, 14 mile day because I'm gonna push it an extra two miles so that tomorrow I don't have to do a 19. I'm on a descent right now, but don't let that fool you because we have about 5,000 feet of elevation gain. The hostel where I'm staying today does not have a resupply, but they do have a ride into town and that's kind of cutting it close because I only have enough food for today and tomorrow. So let's get the day started. Devil's Fork Gap. With a name like that, I'm kind of hungry. Sounds like a great name for a barbecue joint. <sighs> There's a sign there for a, a hostel that's not far away from here. Could have been the, maybe a stopping ground if I would have kept going yesterday. I did not know about it. It has snacks and stuff like that and shuttles. So now you know. I'm gonna continue on. I think uh, not even a mile down the line is where the climb, today's major climb, really starts. It's been a cold morning. I think the high for today is going to be in like the low 50s. I'm starting to see patches of blue skies. It's not supposed to rain today, which is uh, great news. And so the toughest uh, climb of the day is about to start. It's about 1,500 meters of elevation gain, which is not really too bad, over two miles. We got a few water sources along the way. We're gonna hang up there, then descend, then another climb where there's a shelter. That's probably where I'm gonna have lunch. I already uh, left some weight behind, if you know what I mean. I like to do that before the biggest uh, climb. I'm also taking uh, this uh, energy gels that have 25 milligrams of uh, caffeine. So who needs uh, coffee out here? I even gave up uh, drinking tea already. All I'm drinking now is just plain water. I'm halfway up the first climb, which has been very beautiful walking by the, all these waterfalls. Just made it to the last one, so I made sure to drink about a liter of water and take another with me because there's no more water until the shelter five miles away or about two hours. So uh, let's tackle this mountain and get to the top. So I made it to the top of the mountain, it was a nice, not too challenging climb, but the wind chill factor and the temperature you know, forced me to put my, uh, my fleece jacket back on. 
right now it's uh, 46 degrees and it's uh, my ears are a little bit numb and so are my lips so from the top of the mountain I got to see amazing views of uh, the mountains in the distance also some puffy clouds I had a little bit of a uh, cell phone reception so I call home just to uh, check in make sure everything is okay now I'm descending about halfway through climb again to the shelter the shelter where I'm gonna be having lunch and also where I'm supposed to call the hostel just to let them know where I am so that they can have an idea of how long it's gonna take me to get to a uh, street gap because uh, there's no cell phone reception at the gap and uh, I told them uh, yesterday that I was planning to get there at 3 actually I plan to get there at 2 30 but I'm giving myself a little bit of a padding we'll see let the descent begin now. Hi, good afternoon. I have a reservation for today and I'm, I'm right now at a Hugback Ridge shelter. Can you guys pick me up at Street Gap instead of uh, the one before? Yeah, I should be there in a couple of hours, I believe. Yeah, 2.30 to 3 max. All right, see you then. Bye. Well, now that I talked already to uh, the hostel and they're gonna pick me up at uh, Street Gap, all I'm doing is making my way down to the next gap, which is Sam's Gap. There's an interstate that passes through. I remember a subscriber wanted to meet me there, but for the love of God, I've been searching and searching and I cannot find the comment. Guys, if you want me, if you want to meet up with me along the way, you know, I'm only looking like two to three days ahead. So if you're like a, a month away from me, you know, you're going to have to stay on top of it and let me know as I get closer and closer uh, to you. So yeah, almost at the finish line for the day. Easy day so far. Just a little bit of a cold breeze, but blue skies. Well, you know, you can't ask for more. The only thing that worries me right now, which is pretty much, you know, minor thing, is that I don't have enough food to last me all the way until I get to Irwin. So I'm sure they offer a shuttle to go into town and resupply because they don't sell food there. Let's see if I can split that shuttle with another hiker. So I made it to uh, Sam's uh, Gap and I found some uh, trail magic that just came in at the perfect time because the guy had three packages of uh, ramen there so I think that should give me enough to make it to Uncle Jonas' uh, hostel two days away so I may not need to resupply tonight <laughs> Also I saw the Welcome to Tennessee sign and if you notice ever since the, uh, we started the Smokies We've been going in and out between North Carolina and Tennessee. But soon we're going to leave it behind as we get closer to uh, Virginia. The last push is 2 p.m. I still got two miles to go and I told the people from the shuttle to pick me up between 2.30 and 3. So I better hurry up. Great views all around. On my way up here to the top, I met two of the fastest uh, 
hikers that I met so far that I haven't seen in the last couple of days and they were coming south. So I asked them, hey, what's going on? Well, one of them pulled the muscle and they're going to urgent care right now. So yeah, what do the uh, famous people from Kilimanjaro, the porters, what do they used to say? Pole pole, slowly, slowly. Katahdin ain't going nowhere, but if you're trying to push yourself, neither are you. We well, made it to a street gap at 3 p.m. sharp as promised. And as I made my way down the street because the cars can't go up there, I walked past a very spooky little house. And then I met my shuttle driver, uh, Fred, who drove me and uh, another uh, through hiker, uh, Lucky, to his house or the hostel. We got here, settled in into our bunk beds, you know, did laundry, took our much deserved shower, and then devour an entire pizza and a Coke that I had for, you know, lunch slash uh, dinner. Then I just been hanging around here in the house. I actually uh, dry my tent because it got wet last night. And I just been editing and trying to upload videos, even though the Wi-Fi is not as fast as, you know, we wanted it to be. It was a 14 mile day. Check out the stats right there. Not too bad. Tomorrow is going to be 16 miles or so. And then the day after, I already called Uncle Johnny, eh, but they don't take uh, reservations. But it's going to be a, like a six-mile day, and it's also going to be a rainy day. So, guys, that's it for today. I want to thank all the trail angels that are making the trip possible. You guys uh, rock for sure. Uh, tomorrow is going to be an early start. We're going to have breakfast at 7.30, drive back to uh, the trail, and get the day going. Guess I'll see you all tomorrow morning at first light.